Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read for Friday, May 19th, 2023. I hope you're doing amazing. Um, I know this is kind of weird lighting. It is uh, only about five in the morning, uh, but I couldn't sleep very well last night. So I figured let's get some readings done. Um, but interestingly enough, uh, before I began this attempt, I um, heard uh, looking at yourself in a different light as I was pushed to turn and look at my full um, physical reflection in the window, given it's very dark outside. Um, and so I feel like that's what they want to start the reading with. So let's begin and pull from the uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle deck, and we'll see where the reading heads from there. To begin for Friday. Okay, extremes. Very interesting, and it has a, a dark window imagery. Um, and the darkness card. Um, okay, long night, and that's tying into me not being able to sleep very well last night. Um, but I do feel like there's a focus on your shadow, your reflection. Um, for some, your darker side. I do feel like uh, there's a highlight in your mind, your awareness, um, on at least to an extent, on how your spirituality I can at times make life feel a bit darker or that being uh, part of or your full dark side does that make sense um i know for me my spirituality does at times add to the creepy level of me the dark uh the dark aspect of me um even though it does have its positives its uh angelic moments its guidance uh, its benefits uh once again um but there's going to be a focus naturally on the extremes of your life this day could feel quite extreme, whether it's, it could be more than one uh, aspect of this uh, or playing into your day in more than one way. But I do sense that some of which are dealing with uh, a sort of energy and then that kind of dissipating. It could be in regards to your motivation coming and going. Uh, it could be in regards to you thinking about um, or even witnessing extremes uh, in one way, shape or form with a person or a situation it could be um, the vibe in that living situation or with that person um, uh, in that uh, work situation, bear with me as I'm hearing a uh, fluctuation of somebody's mood might take a highlight um, and it might be yours, but I feel like for a lot it's somebody else. Um, but I do feel like you're thinking about um, levels of fruition from the past and how that's going to lead you in a larger sense, it's going to lead you towards fruition for the future, right? Um, kind of a thought process of a focus on if you didn't make uh, certain changes in the past, certain changes for the future wouldn't have been as possible or in general. Um, but yeah, you could be thinking about new beginnings uh, all around in your life and kind of wondering what these new beginnings in the future will lead to, uh, you towards. All right. Um, I'm hearing more success and more fulfillment to say the very least. Even if it does come with its ups and downs, which I'm sure it will, right? Every um, chapter tends to have that to an extent. Um, but I feel as if it's a reminder that any challenges that you do end up facing moving forward, uh, it's something that you can handle, whether it's something similar that you've dealt with from the past, uh, the past in and of itself prepares you for it. Um, you just having what it takes to overcome and persevere however that looks for you let's continue and pull some tarot i'm hearing a shooting star a shooting star to continue for friday a voice of importance is now what i'm getting the eight of swords there's a focus on where you're feeling tied down limited uh, potentially a sense of or focus on lack coming to mind um, because you just uh, need this to make this change or you need this to feel more fulfilled. Um, you've been hoping and longing for this, uh, potentially this and that uh, for a while now. Um, but I do feel like you're needing to remember divine timing. I know I say that a lot in these readings, but it's true. But the Eight of Swords pairing with the Extremes card for some reason, because I do feel like this uh, extreme behavior, extreme uh, extremes in one way, shape, or form, right? Coming into play and being noticed, observed, um, highlighted even in this uh, limited situation. 
I do feel like you're also being pushed to think back to a past change you made once upon a time, uh, something that didn't work out and how that had its absolute extremes, right? Um, and they're saying this really feels necessary to highlight the negative extremes so you don't second guess, so you don't compare, so you make the right choice or choices moving forward, all right? So it feels like another day where it's preparation, uh, whether it feels like that or not. So take it as, as it comes, take it as it goes is what I'm getting. The Knight of Pentacles. Now I do feel like it's a day where overall you will be moving at a comfortable slow pace. You could be thinking about the slow progression of your money, your savings, um, paying something off potentially. I do feel as if there's um, a minimal spending kind of vibe about this day, whether you expect that to come to be, uh, yeah, plan for that or not. I do feel as if there's either past levels of overspending and or your financial goal or goals. It could be you just wanting to uh, to see more add up moving forward, wanting this to kind of change to, um, I'm hearing the eight of, um, eight of Wands kind of vibe where things start to speed up for you um, or maybe like a Knight of Swords vibe per se um, to go with the Knight imagery. But I do feel like uh, Spirit saying this is also preparation. This is going to feel good and we need you to be doing more of that moving forward. All right. Um, anyways, I did hear the word frugal, but um, it feels like there's going to be certain moments throughout this day where the lighting might be dark or there just might be a focus on your dark side once again or on dark aspects of your life uh, up until this point. Um, and that will be a moment where you feel things just kind of slow down for you. It might even be a past chapter situation for you, if not multiple, where you were moving slowly, but things were quite heavy. Um, and that might have been part of why you were moving slowly, right? Or why things were progressing slowly. Um, a reminder that things aren't meant to feel weighed down and heavy and ultra dark moving forward. So it just highlights the fact that certain changes had to happen and will have to happen moving forward to live a lighter, more colorful, um, less weighed down life for yourself. You owe it to you, okay? And potentially your loved ones. What else do we have? I'm getting the garden and the gate card um, as a message from the wisdom of the Oracle deck as I'm being drawn back to the beginnings card because I do feel like there's a gate that they're symbolizing this beginning as uh, this move for you in the right direction and they're saying once you walk through that gate that portal okay towards more for you you're going to see your life transform in so many magical ways for the better and it's obviously going to look different for everybody but i just feel like all the meanwhile um there's a huge focus on your finances all right wanting more and needing more um, wanting to see yourself become the wealthy version of you live that wealthy lifestyle that you truly deserve and are destined for um, Yeah, the ten of swords in reverse. There's thoughts of a lack of an ending. All right, something you wish to see come to an end um, It could be more in regards to something that you feel isn't Meant to be out of your life. It could be a person place situation forever Right say you expect that person to come back around at some point or hope for it um, it could be more in regards to um, this also and or highlighting, uh, again, that light feeling that you do feel at certain points throughout this day and that being something that you need to experience more of moving forward, right? And so I do feel like with that said and done, there is that extreme uh, fluctuation at times of that light and heavy feeling, okay? And so this will naturally push you to reevaluate, to remember for some why you desire a change, uh, but also to remember why change again happened in the past. All right. Um, the emperor at the bottom of the deck, because I do feel as if it's a day where you're being pushed to remember that preparation uh, is taking place in certain ways throughout this day, but you initiating and taking charge of certain other levels of preparation for your bright future lies ahead. All right. It's a day where you're being reminded that what you have at hand isn't everything. It is important. It's purposeful. All the meanwhile, for one, if not several reasons for some drawn to the reading like myself, but I do feel like all the meanwhile, you might just need to step back and view it as a stepping stone and recognize that 
um, a past uh, solution or stepping stone idea um, or an idea in general that you came up with was absolutely on point and will lead to more um, and a level of you living the life you're meant to uh, moving forward. I don't know where that came from, but I just feel like you might be getting a lot of downloads. Synchronicities will pop up left and right throughout this day. So don't discard what you see, what you feel um, throughout this day and moving forward. It's a day that reminds you, again, what you have at hand, what you're wrapped up with is purposeful. Even what you went through, the bad, the good, that was purposeful. But your future is so much brighter and you're meant for so much more, all right? So I hope this was truly helpful. I'm sending you all of the love and light. Go enjoy your Friday and I'll definitely see you next time.